Hey guys, it's Aleš from European Coffee Trip and in this video I want to show you new coffee drippers from Laveramics. Okay, you probably know the Laveramics brand even if you don't know about it. Many specialty coffee shops use their cups, glasses or tableware. I just had a flat white this morning with this egg cup at our local coffee shop. At this point, I need to mention that Laveramix is a sponsor of European Coffee Trip, which gives us an early access to all their new products, but of course our view might be a little biased. Every year, Laveramix extends a line of products for coffee lovers. Last year, we were testing and using their Nomad Takeaway Cups and also new Potter colors of egg cups that you could see in many of our previous videos. This year, they are adding the coffee drippers. They scheduled a launch for the World of Coffee in Warsaw in June 2020, but restrictions around COVID-19 canceled most, if not all, coffee events. So we decided to make a short video and show it to you in this form. So they came up with not one, but three coffee drippers. They are all made from porcelain. The difference is in color and the texture that makes a dripper looks amazing. But there is also a functional difference. There should be a different brew time for each dripper. There is a strong dripper in white color for the slowest brew time. There is a smooth dripper in celadon blue color for the optimum brew time. And there is a mellow dripper in celadon green color for the fastest brew time. You can also get a drip stand that comes in three different colors, metal black, metallic, and brass. It's made out of stainless steel with a detachable silicon ring. You didn't need to use a dripper stand for brewing, but if you do, it really makes brewing and presentation of coffee more stylish. The last item in this brewing set is a glass jug, which comes in two models, tall and straight, which both contain 500 milliliters of coffee. It's made out of borosilicate glass, which I don't really know what it is, but what I know is that it's the most robust glass jug we ever had in the office. For the first time, I don't feel like breaking it. The handle and spout is well designed, so it's easy to pour. What I really like is how these new products build into the Laveramix ecosystem. Colors of drippers, Saladon green and blue, match the Dale Harris collection of caps. And bond spoons match the colors of drip stands. With all the color variations, you have an option to adjust your brewing set to the interior of your home or to your coffee shop. When it comes to pricing, it looks fairly competitive. A dripper sells for 99 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 11 euros. A dripper stand sells for 129 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 15 euros. And a glass jug sells also for 129 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 15 euros. Now, if you compare it to the golden standards of coffee dripper, which is Hario V60, this version, the basic one, white but the bigger, costs around 20 euros, which is almost a double to the price of the Laveramix dripper. But of course you don't have a dripper stand, but if you take it together, it's around 26 euros, which is still cheaper than this one, the Femetier V60, in a, in a color that costs usually around 28 euros. Now, let's see how they brew coffee. The idea behind different pattern is that each of them provides a different surface area for a paper filter to lean on the porcelain dripper and a different resistance for a water to drip through the coffee bed. So let's take a look. We used 15 grams of coffee to 250 grams of water. In the first test, we did 30 seconds bloom and then quickly pour the rest of the water to finish at 60 seconds.
Okay, so we did another test. This time we brewed at the same time with all three drippers. We used 15 grams of coffee, 250 milliliters of water, and we want to see if there is a difference in the brew time and the speed of the, of the water going through the coffee bed, but we were not successful. Unfortunately, this time it was almost exactly the same. As you can see, we are not able to replicate a different brew time with different coffee drippers. We tried twice with two different coffees and set up. Each time the difference was really small to make any impact on brewed coffee. At this point, I can't say it doesn't work. We tried only two rounds, but I still believe there are better ways how to control brew time through the grind size and pouring technique. I think that very soon more experienced brewers and tasters will share their opinion. It would be a mistake to think that these drippers can't brew and extract coffee. It can. We had a delicious brewers. I just wouldn't expect a superior brewing due to the design pattern. It has different qualities. When we compare it side by side to V60, it had almost exactly the same brew time, which suggests that V60 recipes could be a solid starting point also for brewing with Lavaramix drippers. So what's our first impression? I will start with these questions. Do you need a new coffee dripper? No. Do you want a new coffee dripper? Then the answer is yes. I think it's a beautiful coffee dripper and brewing set that comes at a very good price. Perhaps it doesn't deliver on all promises, but to me personally, the selling point was more design and quality of material. And the real winner is a glass jack. Let us know what you think and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. And I'm looking forward to see you in our next video very soon. Thank you, bye bye.